Hey, what's going on peeps? It's me, Lindsay here with lindsaymore.com. And today's video, I'm going to cover about uh, product research for your Shopify store. Now, um, I've done uh, videos like this before, but you know, um, as time goes on, you know, there's new, uh, you know, new information, new training, and everything else that I start to learn about, and I want to um, share that information with you all. So, um, the one thing I'm going to show you is like one of the easy ways, one of the ways that I've actually used since I started with um, e-commerce back in 2015. And I'm going to share that with you all. But then also, I'm going to show you two sites that you can actually look at to get, um, you know, some product ideas for your store to find winning products, okay? So if some of you may have already seen me do this first strategy before, but I'm going to just go ahead and just cover it real briefly. Um, again, so the first strategy, of course, is just using Facebook graph search. Since most people who are using e-commerce, um, you know, they're using paid advertising. A lot of them are using the Facebook platform because, you know, Facebook has over a billion users on it. So, of course, you want to be where the people are, right? So, what you can do is you just come over here to Facebook. And you want to come up here in the graph search. And you want to search key terms, like keyword terms, that are usually found in um, ads that are um, used for Shopify stores. So, one of those could be free shipping, okay? So, I'm going to click on free shipping. Then I'm going to choose 2018 because I want to see, um, you know, content that has been real recent. And then I want to choose videos. Now that I'm over here, I can see, like, the different videos that I have been posted. Now, um, I will say, like, with the, um, the graph search on Facebook, you know, when you're searching for key terms, sometimes it w works really great and sometimes it's really hard to find content, okay? So that's, a, that's the reason why I'm going to show you the other two options that I have found over the last, like, week and a half. But anyways, <clears throat> you want to find videos that have a lot of views, a lot of views. So you can see right here, this one has like 3.5 million. You can see this is like a, like an egg cooker set or something like that. <clears throat> so you want to just check out the video, kind of see what it is. Ah, play. You won't play the video. It's, the music's kind of weird. <laughs> so that's one way you can do. Um, the next thing you want to do from this, right? So after you have done your research by doing um, different key terms like free shipping, um, claim yours now, buy it here, save 50% off, things like that, right? Search for those kind of key terms and look at what comes up in the search. Now, while you're doing your search, what you want to do is you want to actually visit the store, right? Now, the reason why you want to visit the store is because now when you visit the store, Facebook puts you into a group of people that would um, <clears throat> view content. So if you have ever tried to set up Facebook ads for your Shopify store and you have used website conversion ads, <clears throat> then you'll know that there's different um, conversions that you can optimize for. So let's say, like I say, you come here and you just look at the store. Well, you'll be considered as a person who just views content, okay? Now, if you take it a step further and you actually <clears throat> like click on to add this cart, I mean, add this product to your cart, then now you'll fall into that group of people who um, add things to cart and then for people like me I've actually purchased things from you know Shopify stores on Facebook um, I'm in a group of people that they call um, purchases right so when you start to do that you're now going to start to see more and more ads show up in your Facebook news feed and when that happens what you want to do is you want to again look for the, um, the, um, the ads that have a lot of shares they also have a lot of views on it if it's a video ad and then what you want to do is you want to click on the ad if it's something that you will think that would be interesting for you to promote in your store, copy that link, send it to yourself in Messenger. Um, I've, do, I've done that. I've also copied the link and just put it into like a notepad or something like that. And that way you have a list of products that you can continuously test inside of your store. So that's a really good way that you can start doing that. And again, best way for you to start seeing more and more ads show up in your newsfeed. And again, depending on what type of person you, um, what type of um, actions you do when you visit these stores, um, it also depends on what type of products you see in your newsfeed, okay? So if you just click in to visit these stores to see what's going on, you'll always be grouped in that group of people who just view content. So you may not see the same content that somebody who actually purchased from a store may see, okay? Hopefully that kind of makes sense, right? Now, the next two options that I want to share with you all are two sites that I did see in my Facebook newsfeed. <clears throat> and um, they can definitely give you some ideas of hot products to... Um, promote in your stores. So the first one I want to share with you all is Ecom Hunt, right? So they have like a 
they have a, a membership site a membership uh, a membership that's twenty dollars right now I'm actually upgrading to that when I um, get off this video because everything that I have been using as far as like the free version they do have a free version as well but with the free version um, you can see some of the um, products they have here but you can't really see all the um, the analytics and the engagement and all that type of information uh, that comes along with these particular products now um, if you do get the upgrade which is I think it's $20 per month um, you do get more information about these products but now you can just come over here and you can scroll and see what type of products people are promoting in their Shopify store and this would definitely give you a really good idea because um, I know even with people that I have worked with or the people who have reached out to me and they wanted me to do a critique of their store they'll show me some of their products and some of their products are kind of <laughs> kind of weird I can't even really describe it or whatever else and um, like I said for the first time you ever setting up a Shopify store you know you probably really don't have a really good idea of what to promote in your store so this will definitely give you a good idea and um, let it have pages upon pages of different products that you can promote so there's something that catches your eye what you want to do is you want to go to AliExpress see if you can find this product make sure it's from a quality vendor and if it fits all that criteria um, you want to make sure you do your markup on the price add it to your store and then you can start testing this particular product but you can see here they have a lot of really good interesting products that you can promote inside of your store so that's one thing that you can definitely look at um, and then the next store not next order next site that I want to share with you all is called dropship spy so with dropship spy um, it's another thing too you can look at winning products promising products I guess these are um, product ideas that they think that you know you can possibly promote um, you also have the Facebook audience builder so let's just open some of these up so this is the winning products right so again you can come over here and see different products that people are, um, are promoting you can actually see how many likes how many comments how many shares um, these products are getting as well okay kind of self-explanatory pretty much right then you can come over here to the promising products tab then also over here again they give you some other product suggestions or whatever else and if you really do um, if you've been following like other e-commerce stores or you see these ads in your stores then a lot of these products you've probably already seen in your um, newsfeed or whatever then you have the Facebook audience builder so if you're going to be using Facebook ads to promote your products you can come over here and they actually give you some help on different interests that you can possibly target for your ads so let's say you're going to be promoting something that's in the beauty niche so you'll come over here and you click and they'll give you um, magazines that you can possibly target stores websites public figures brands community okay so they're giving you more information to help you um, you know target better with your ads and this is gold right here right so many people have problems with this part when it comes to targeting with their ads so this right here is complete gold right and with the um, dropship spy they do have um, I think it's three different membership levels they do have one level that is um, ten dollars per week the next one is twenty dollars per month and then they have one of things like the enterprise level I can't remember how much that is is it, is it um, how much that is exactly um, also Instagram influencer research so you can come over here and I guess you can find different um, Instagram influencers so if you want to go that route to get those initial sales especially if you have a low budget then you definitely want to go that route as far as using Instagram influencers and then also you can use um, um, get um, reviews from Amazon that you can actually um, promote onto your Shopify store so now when somebody visits your store they not only see the product but they also see product reviews of that product which is also going to just give that um, you know your customer um, that confidence to whip out that credit card and purchase from your site okay so all of these methods are really really good like I said first method Facebook graph search it's a really really great way to find um, additional uh, you know to find winning products also ecom hunt and also drop ship spy so if you want to get more details about the um, last two sites um, underneath this video in the description I'm gonna go ahead and put links to both of these websites so that way you can go ahead and become a part of it and actually start to get more product ideas or even how to actually build up your Facebook targeting for your ads okay these are really really good um, you know sites and um, I've actually came up with a lot of really good ideas for my Shopify stores you know just by what I'm finding on these sites okay so hopefully you found this video helpful guys if you have any questions comment below make sure you subscribe to this channel 
like this video and then also hit that notification bell to get more video updates when I do more videos like this especially when it comes to Shopify and e-commerce okay so go ahead and do those things and I'll see you guys on the next video